Hello, my name is Stuart Bruce and this week's Modernised Public Relations tip is inspired by Nike's Colin Kaepernick advert. Now, I'm not going to talk to you about how global corporations can take a political or a social stance. That would be an interesting topic for another week. What I'm actually going to talk to you about is some of the coverage about the advert where we've seen figures cited for the value of the editorial coverage um, that these adverts have generated. Now, some of these figures have come from a company called the Apex Marketing Group. Now, I don't know Apex, um, but I do seriously call into question um, their figures. The first figure that I saw is they were saying that £43 million pounds worth of value had come from the editorial coverage and the buzz about the advert. And a few days later, this was updated to £163 million. Now, I've got a real problem with these numbers because I have a horrible feeling that what Apex is doing is using advertising value equivalent. That's where you look at how much a piece of edit look at a piece of editorial coverage and then calculate what that same piece of coverage would have cost if you'd paid for it as an advert. The problem is that's a fraudulent metric. It was bullshit when I came into public relations in 1989. And it's even more bullshit today. Back in 2010, AMEC, that's the International Association for the Measurement and Evaluation of Communication, published its Barcelona principles. And principle number five said that AVEs weren't the value of communications. Well, at the time it said public relations, but they were updated in the Barcelona principles 2.0. But that's not the point. You know, just using common sense tells you that how much you pay for an advert is absolutely not related to the value of the editorial coverage. There's a hundred and one reasons why you could pick holes in such a methodology. And if you read my blog at stuartbruce.biz, you see, you'll see that I've talked about this a lot, lot of times. But what was really frustrating me about the Nike coverage is the fact that journalists and the media fall for it. Even respected titles like Bloomberg were publishing these fake figures these fraudulent figures. Now, I know why people use them. There's three main reasons. One is that people are trying is that the people using them are trying to con people. They know that they're bullshit, but they're using them anyway. The second is that actually they're so clueless and unprofessional that they don't know that they're bullshit figures and they genuinely think that these numbers they're citing have got a value. Trust me, they haven't. The third, and probably the most common one, is that people can't convince their client or their boss that these are bullshit figures. It sounds impressive when you, when you kind of make this big number up. In reality, it isn't. Now, why do the media fall for this so often? But exactly the same when the, the, um, the North Korea and US summit happened in Singapore, and you saw figures being cited for the value of the coverage to Singapore. Once again, it was a bullshit metric. Now, I know you're sitting there and you're thinking, okay, Stuart, so if AVE, advertising value equivalent, is a bullshit metric, then what should we use instead? I wish I could tell you. If you expect me to stand, sit here and say that there's a silver bullet that's gonna give you the answer that you need, that's really simple to understand, and it's gonna give you some dollar signs or some pound signs, then you're in for a disappointment because I'm not going to do that. The problem is, is that every organisation, every company, when it's running a communications campaign, it's got its own unique objectives. Sometimes it's about recruitment. Sometimes it's about sales. You know, there's no one. Sometimes if what you're trying to do is, is bolster the share price. There's never one simple answer. And because there's never one simple thing that you're trying to do, you're never ever going to get that silver bullet of that sort of, one-size-fits-all metric that measures the success of your campaign. The truth is, is that measurement and evaluation of communications is hard. You've got to think about it. You've got to try to do it better, but you're never going to get that simple one-size-fits-all answer. So what you should be doing is trying to improve it all of the time. If you're wondering why there's a picture of Barcelona behind me, that's because of the Barcelona principles. Um, which is where, because it was in Barcelona that AMEC 
announced the very first principles back in 2010. Um, last week's picture, which I forgot to explain, was of the Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur. And what I'm going to be doing in each of these PR tip videos is selecting a different photograph, most of which I've taken myself when I've been working in various different venues around the world, providing public relations consultancy or training. So thanks for watching this week's PR tip and hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel and watch some more next week.